Hi, this is Murph. Um, in this video, I will uh, demonstrate you running um, PowerShell scripts uh, on a Windows 2012 R2 uh, VM that I just downloaded uh, and set up recently uh, with Salt Stack. So um, I was having some challenge with running PowerShell scripts uh, from uh, my uh, Linux servers uh, uh, VMs. Um, that I have for deployment purposes uh, and uh, this there are a few solutions that I came across which didn't make sense to me much uh, one of them was uh, you know uh, getting a uh, Windows based SSH server configured on a Windows machine uh, and then uh, execute uh, scripts from the Linux machine through uh, some um, through SSH or some sort of a web service API through uh, the PowerShell web access uh, which kind of a lot of uh, you know effort uh, in my mind, and in some cases you might have to even um, go with the commercial product like uh, like uh, N Software uh, and some other uh, vendor that might have some sort of a uh, uh, SSH functionality that may allow you to do that. So uh, for me, um, uh, since I looked into Salt Stack before uh, for remote execution purposes and um, and configuration management, uh, it, it made more sense to me because uh, uh, it can, it can, I can uh, easily run uh, remote commands to uh, my Linux, FreeBSD, or even Windows servers through Salt Stack. So uh, you can learn more about Salt Stack if you go to Salt Stack uh, docs.saltstack.com or I think saltstack.org and say open source uh, project. And it's very popular these days. It's very actively maintained, um, uh, and you, you can learn a whole lot of things uh, about Salt Stack by going to documentation as well as the YouTube. Uh, but I can tell you, it's it's a really great product um, to for someone who wants to do a lot of things remote, uh, remotely uh, as well as uh, you know run a lot of things, a lot of commands uh, in various platforms uh, uh, like Windows, uh, Linux. Uh, you know, Mac, or BSD, you name it. So, um, for my demonstration purpose, uh, um, I have a uh, Windows 2012 uh, 12, uh, server here, uh, which is uh, 2012 R2, which I just downloaded the preview version of Windows 2012 R2 um, here. Um, it's my home test lab. Uh, so, uh, here's the server that I have. Um, and so yeah, you, you can see. Uh, sorry for the small screen. Um, so you can see it's uh, running a Windows 2012 R2. Actually, it's running on a um, on a Fedora um, physical host running KVM. So the Windows 2012 R2 server is running uh, on a KVM uh, um, hypervisor. And I have another VM that is a CentOS VM, CentOS 6.4, running on the same KVM server, um, which I'm gonna use as a Salt Master. So Salt has this concept called Salt Master, and Minion, uh, Minions are like client machines, or, or, uh, uh, and Master is the one that's controlling all the clients. So, uh, so I installed the Salt Master on a CentOS, which took me like five minutes uh, by following uh, the Salt Stack uh, web uh, doc they provide it. It's pretty easy. Uh, you just have to have Python installed. With CentOS comes up in the Python pre-installed, but uh, with Windows I have to install. Uh, so for Windows what I have to do is basically, since there's a uh, brand new installation, I had to go to python.org and then I downloaded the Python, um, go to download here, and I had to download the Python 2.75 because Salt Stack requires uh, a 2x variant, you can see it on your website. Um, and then I just downloaded this uh, uh, this one, this uh, X uh, Windows X8664 MSI. And once I installed it, I got the Python installed, and Salt requires Python um, um, to run. So you install, I installed the Python on that uh, Windows machine. Uh, which took me, you know, a few minutes, right? 
So, uh, and then uh, once I installed it, all I did the extra was basically going to system and I went to advanced settings and environment variable. So I added the path for Python to make it easier for me, but you can also execute Python from, uh, from, uh, uh, from, you know, C colon, uh, you know, Python 27 slash, you know, python.exe, but I had to uh, add my path here. So that's what I had to do. So it's pretty simple uh, to do that. And then once I did that, I reboot the machine or uh, my, uh, you know, all the path are in place. So uh, once I installed Python, um, I went to the Salt website, which is the Salt stack uh, installation for the uh, Windows. Uh, so if I go here, docs.saltstack.com, and you go to the installation section here, and then once you go there, you go to the Windows. It, it has platform specific installation instruction, which is really good. I just downloaded this one and installed that. And once I did that, uh, I, I had to, uh, you know, uh, salt uh, minion service was running. If it doesn't, then there's a service uh, on the Windows host that uh, I will show you later on that you can restart or make sure that started. And that basically, uh, when you install the uh, salt minion, you can just provide the master IP address of the uh, salt master. So in my case, uh, so this is the CentOS uh, machine that I'm just SSH into right now. So it is, uh, you know, 192.168.1.187. That's my uh, home network. And then I, uh, uh, the, So uh, my Windows 2012 machine is basically 100. Yeah, so that's the one that has the uh, Windows 2012 uh, R2 running, uh, and it says PowerShell uh, uh, installed by default. Uh, I just had to make the uh, execution policy to unrestrict it for my test, but I would uh, guess the production that would probably uh, do some sort of remote sign or halt sign. But there, those configuration you can play with it. Um, it's pretty uh, pretty basic. Um, so once I installed Salt Stack and you know, I started the minion, uh, then uh, basically uh, you know I, I just ran a um, uh, there is a command that you can run uh, to uh, accept your minion. So which is uh, go to the installation here. Uh, So, I put the uh, okay salt key. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So the command is once you install minion, you should run this command on your master. Salt key L, uh, and that shows you all the uh, all the uh, uh, minions on your salt environment. So once I start the minion, you should see up. Uh, you should see that under. Uh, unaccepted keys uh, section and then once you just uh, press A that basically accept all the keys so uh, you know right now I did it already so it's basically you can just go to the salt stack website and that's pretty much uh, follow the steps um, uh, if you're in a production environment you might have to open some ports for salt to run on environment so this is there is a page uh, here uh, if you just uh, search for opening the file up for salt salt on the same website and docs salt salt uh, stack .com. and you can see there are some ports that you might have broken on your firewall to get this uh, traffic going on. So once you have that open, it should be all set.
So right now I got it all configured, which took me, as I said, uh, probably 15 minutes to set it up uh, on this on these two machines to try it out. Uh, so uh, so I'm just gonna show you that I'm running run a uh, partial script on a salt stack from a Linux machine uh, on this CentOS from salt stack. So to do that, I'm just gonna have this command ready here. So here is the PowerShell script. Here, uh, so I'm calling PowerShell, and it's on the directory right now. And then uh, I'm just gonna say, okay. So if you have a lot of hosts, so you can you can just if you do start, it's gonna try to run it on all hosts. So uh, if you have a mixed environment, you probably should wanna group them together uh, based on some salt documentation. But uh, uh, in this case, I'm gonna just gonna run on my Windows 2012 machine. Uh, and so one side, so it's salt space, you know, uh, with this, the machine name. And the cmd dot run is to run a command, uh, system command on the salt on the on the server, and it's gonna execute partial skip. Uh. So uh, as you see, just I just ran the script. So uh, that was pretty easy. Uh, so that's all I wanted to do actually. Uh, was kind of researching on on the salt stack on, on the Windows side to see if I can leverage some of the partial. Because partial is so powerful, uh, uh, kind of uh, nice to be able to make use of partial in some degree. Uh, to manage some of the Windows host or doing some stuff. Uh, for me, uh, VMware, uh, I needed to uh, manage uh, uh, a bunch of VMware vCenter hosts to Power CLI uh, because uh, VMware has a very good Power CLI uh, library. Um, so that was uh, pretty easy for me to implement uh, with this uh, method. So in this case, I could just run the script, which basically you know, gave me uh, the uh, PowerShell version is running 4.0. As you know, it's with the 2012 R2 comes up with 4.0, and it showed me all the services running on this comp uh, on this host, right? And you will see there is a uh, salt uh, service as well here, salt minion service. That is basically the one that is communicating with the uh, master, uh, and then it shows me the volume sizes on different uh, on this host. You know what are the uh, uh, disk, uh, you know, use and remaining. Um, actually, so shows the size remaining. Um, the format is kind of, uh, you know, messed up a little bit, but uh, you know, uh, we can play with it that later on, uh, or maybe output that in a file and then grab the file for your production scenario. Uh, and then it also shows the, uh, you know, uh, newest event uh, system logs, so last five. Uh, uh, newest uh, five uh, system locks. So um, that's pretty much it actually. It's pretty simple and, and you, know, you don't have to buy any uh, commercial product uh, and you can leverage your um, a tool like salt stack to maintain manage a lot of things uh, and it has the capability of uh, parallel execution and such scenario where you can you know orchestrate a lot of complex scenarios. So uh, I hope this video is helpful for you. Uh, if you like this video put a like or, or put a comment on at the bottom. Thank you.